What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy, B-Hop Video. Shout out, as always, I got my podcast partner off in this thing, the original hot boy himself. Yo, yo, yo. Turk, what up, though? What's out, what's out, what's out? You know, out? Turk, I had to bring my podcast sis in this thing today. Yeah, you know, yeah. Aaron Ray was sitting over here kicking shit in the office, and I said, you know what, Aaron Ray, I think you got something to say. Always. Always have See that? Why are you looking at me like I'm about yeah. to say the wrong yeah. thing? Yeah. Yeah. And you gonna jump about the time and slap me? Go ahead, B. Well, now Go I'm ahead. just here to hear what you got to say today, Aaron Ray. Because I mean, I could tell from your looks in your eye that you were tired of what you're seeing out here in the world. You want to make it a better place, and you mm-hmm. want to get down. We, you want to have those tough conversations between men and women to get some understanding. Okay. Yes. Of you course. know, Shaq says that you know women, you can't tell them your problems because they ain't gonna do nothing but use it against you and beat you down. Okay, and so will men. So will everybody. Matter of fact, you can't tell anybody anything because as soon as they mad at you, well, I remember back in the day when you were sleeping on the air mattress and you had no money. And like, that was 10 years ago. I'm rich now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. people going to throw it back in your face when they mad. I don't think that's just a woman thing, but I do get where he's coming from. But at your lowest, people gonna throw anything in your face to get back. But I understand what 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 Shaq mean. You know, like a man could be vulnerable, and you know, the woman always be like, "Open up to me, open up to me." And the man, like sometimes he don't want to talk about it. But then, soon as I open up to you and tell you, you throw it in my face, and I be like, "See, that's why I didn't want to tell your ass in the beginning." So I understand completely from experience, and I'm married. So yeah. should men just be opening up the women and allowing them to beat our asses with our vulnerable things, or should we just keep it to ourselves? Because you know, a lot of women say that they want us to be the man, man all the time. But I'm thinking to myself, when Dr. King went home to Corrutta, he had to crown her shoulder a couple nights and say, "You know, these niggas try to kill me." When oh, Malcolm no. X went home to Betty, he had to look at her and I say, "Hey, Betty, these niggas. Matter of fact, they trying to kill us. Yeah, they trying to yeah. kill us tonight." Yeah, yeah. Well, we heard Malcolm X calls to his wife, so he was definitely crying and doing what needs to be done. He had a real one on his team. That's right. Yeah. Now let's talk about this though, because I do get it when you're in a vulnerable state and like a woman's like, "Open up, we'll talk to me. I want to have a spiritual connection or a emotional connection with you." And then they throw it in your face how that can be hurtful. But at the end of the day, a man tells you in the beginning of the relationship, well, like, tell me what you like. Who are you? Get to, let me get to know you. And then as soon as he gets to know you and all the things that you like, boom, got her ass. Now let me switch it up because that's not who I am. So that's why I said it goes both ways. It's just that a man feels like he holds everything in. He's supposed to be a man because that's who society and women tell him that he's supposed to be. So he doesn't want to open up because when he does, he feel like it's thrown in his face. Well, that's just life, baby. Nah, it ain't life when you in my life. You know, it's different. You feel me? And when you are throwing things back in my face that I don't want nobody to know, and I'm trusting you to let you know how I'm feeling at the lowest, and you use mm. it against me, then I can't trust you no more. I ain't about to tell your ass nothing. But like, look. I, like, like, let me give you an example. Okay, this say, for instance, I fell short on the bills, and, you know, you, you was up or whatever, and you paid the bills, and you want to throw that in my face like... I paid the bills this month when you get mad, though. But I paid the bills for 11 months straight. I just needed your help. I feel like a woman should never do that to a man because that does something to a man. I need your help right now. You my woman. Why throw that in my face to make me? I don't care if I did it 11 times. You did that one time, and that hurt me more than the 11 that I did right. I definitely get that point, and that is not right. When I say that it's life, I mean that, okay, so you said you paid the bills However many times. 11 months straight. 11 months straight. (laughs) And you did it one time. She had to pay it once. (laughs) There be situations to where men will tell you something like, man, back in the day, I used to be a cheater. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. He tell you that, you know what I'm saying, just to let you know, like, oh, I'm faithful to you. But then he's cheating again, and you throw it in his face like I thought, and he's like, oh, you want to throw it in my face? No, it's accountability. Sometimes women are throwing things back in your face because it's like, no, you are not being accountable for the things that you said you were vulnerable about. You're hurt about this, da-da-da, but you're still doing the same thing, and when I say it to you, now I'm throwing it in your face. Uh, No. Or sometimes they'll throw it in your face to try to justify their case. It, it go both ways now Because I did something But I'm going to remind you of what you did To justify what I did nah, we, need a to, le- we, nah, need a, right. we need a leveling plan for you Nah, yeah, 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 <laughs> we, yeah. we both on the same yeah. We the same Cause, case cause, now cause, hey, hey, say But I, I think, you know 
accountability on both parts. You know what I'm saying? What it all boils down to the same thing a woman go through, a man go through. Like we are human. Yes. So even though we might have a man and woman trait, we still human beings. So I feel like we still have emotions. You Kevin know what I'm Gates says that, you know, it's hard for men to be honest with women, but Aaron Ray, is it hard for women to be honest with men? No. Okay, not so at then all. what's your number? Because that's the issue. Do all women just come out and say what the number is? Then? <laughs> do, do men just come and hey, I don't know. <laughs> <seven women. laughs> Matter of fact, just got my dick sucked this morning. Ain't hey, no man come out and say But if you, know, ask, if you ask shit, I think a man will tell you faster than a woman. And they won't. You know why they won't? The, the, okay, the, there's two different ways. There's the niggas that's really not getting it that will tell you that because they want to seem like, huh, I'm really getting it. Niggas that's really out here getting it is not telling you the truth. Like, most of them are not, and they think because they, they favor sin. I'm trying to protect your feelings. No, but it, you're but not. If, but if you sit down with me and listen, we about to All be All my honest. male best friends, yes, they tell me every. I know everything. So that's why, like, I can see a man. He like, no, nah, I would never do that. Da, da, da. I don't know. I probably won't tell Yes. Because I think that's some sucker shit to be like, yeah, I fucked this many, da, 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 you know, and unless she real serious and she really want to know. Now, you really want to know. But if she just be like, so how many? Oh, man. I In a situation like that, most men are not going to tell because, of course, like I said, niggas that's really doing what they doing, they not telling because yeah. you're not about to catch them but up see, in nothing. You done flipped and it up on the men. I'm talking about the women. <laughs> I mean, do women have a hard time keeping it real with themselves? No. The, not, not, not with themselves. You said oh. with men. Well, but we, imagine yeah. you asked your wife, well, let's say she's not your wife. Yeah. You just met her or whatever. How many niggas she done messed with? It's going to break your little heart because you be like, man, I've been doing everything I can. I'm not about to ask this shit. You're not going to get. So yeah. the woman's not just going to tell you off dump because she she's protecting you. And that's like not even trying to be Why funny. are you protecting me I'm from you being off the goddamn chain? I'm, I'm not about to ask it. I, because, I don't want to know. Because you don't really want to know. I don't want to know. I'm not going to give you the answers to something that, that you gonna really don't. Because that shit going to be on my mind all the time. forever. So I'm not going to tell you something that you really don't want to know the answer to and women don't really want to know the answer to that too so don't ask no dumb ass questions when you don't really want to know like you really don't want to know that you d do you really want to know well no I'm saying exactly. you, you know just what? said earlier that women don't have no problem telling the truth so I, I said if that's one of those don't. questions that somebody they might don't ask have early a, on they don't have a problem telling the truth because if I if I felt like you really want to know I was a whore I'm going to tell you <laughs> I'm a whore you know what I'm saying like the thing is that if you know that this man cannot handle what you are about to tell him, mm -hmm. then no, you not. Nah, you, you try to justify y'all lying. Nah, no. nah, nah, <laughs> no. nah, nah. No. We ain't gonna go for that. No, that sound good. No, if that we talk about, good if, we talk right about if we talk about numbers and stuff like that, then yeah, no, no woman's really. Some women might. But at the same time, you don't even know if they're telling the truth or not because some women be like, oh, well, I didn't nut, so he really not affected, oh, yeah. da, da, da. Oh, You know, yeah. those things like that. So you really don't know if this person's telling the truth or not. So like I said, don't ask no questions to something you really don't want the answer to. Now, other things, yes, women be honest, but y'all don't be understanding what they be saying because a lot of times they may not come out and be like, yeah, hey, well, this A woman going to be this. honest, yeah, I want you to pay all my bills. Yeah, I, I want you to come and pick me up. Yeah. yeah, I want you to take care of me. Yeah, I want you to fight these 30 gangbangers that <laughs> Chasing me down the street because I got on some damn Daisy Dukes today. Yeah, they love to tell you to go out and do that. Yeah. Be honest, but it's time for me to say, hey, can we split these bills 50 50? Um, yes. Bro. Okay, mm. so be real with yourself. When you get with the woman, if you come in a relationship like, yeah, I'm that nigga, I got all this money, da da da, I take care of my woman, whoop de whoop whoop whoop. You done came in a relationship like that. I'm expecting that. You came in with your money, I'm expecting the money. Now <laughs> you want to switch it up, like, hmm, you came in <laughs> one way, yeah, and yeah. you knew who I was yeah. when you came in. You knew I wasn't solid. I was here for the money because that's how you came in. Yeah. So when yeah. you get damn nigga, I still ain't solid. I wasn't solid then, and I ain't solid now. Yeah, that's I can respect that. I can respect well, see, that. 